just want to uh, make this little video so I can show you um, how to make um, how to felt soaps um, because it's interesting and very nice and relaxing. So um, I'm just going to um, we have this water here. Um, and this method is called felting. Um, and we're just going to see this bar of soap, nice round soap. We're just going to dip it into the hot water here. Get it all nice and wet. Okay. And now we're just going to put it here in the middle of this and we are going to fold it over like this and then we are going to fold it over like that so it is covered. And then we need to um, we just need to cover it up with with this, and then we just get a bit more water and tap it gently, just to get all the fibers to mesh with the soap. Okay, so I've been doing this method for about five minutes or so. Um, and as you can see, it's really well, um, um, really well felted into the soap. Um, so I believe it's actually time to put some, um, to add some color to it now. What do you think? Doesn't look good, doesn't it? <clears throat> So now I've picked my color and I chose blue, like a sky blue. And what we're gonna do is just push that out of the way. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to put this over the soap like this. And we are just gonna rub it a little and just tap it gently so it will, will stick into the um into the soap and the white and the white wool. on the white wool yeah um and it will look really nice I apologize for that roast, that cockerel in the back. He wants to be an actor. Yes, apparently. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, it's um, mm -hmm. it's starting to fill, it's starting to mesh with the white now. Um, really need to get those fibers to work with one another okay so I've added the blue I've turned the soap around and I've decided that I'm gonna put some yellow on the other side um, you know like so it's um, just adding a bit of yellow So now you see that the colors um, are all meshed together very beautifully. Um, and now 
we are going to then use this bubble wrap. Um, so we're just going to um, place it here in the middle like this and just <laughs> um, and just cover it up like this, a bit like what we did with the white fat, um, felt fabric. And then we're just going to rub for a few minutes. For, for a few minutes. Okay, so now we have it all lovely and felted up um, just by using the bubble wrap and just scrubbing it. Um, so now we're actually going to, the next method we're going to do, and the last thing is that we are going to, I'm going to basically put it in hot water and cold water and just alternate between the two um and uh and like do you see that it's it's not even coming out it's that's how you know it's very well felted that it won't come out um so and the fibers will come up during the water but then you just squeeze it and it will push back down and it will be perfectly fine. Nothing will ever actually, it won't come out. It'll be perfectly fine. So here we go. I'm just going to put it in here now. And now I'm going to put it into cold water. To, this is to shock the fibers. Oh my gosh! Um, and now I'm just gonna just gonna put it back in the hot water. Oops. Ah, oh, that stupid cockerel. Okay, so here is the ending results as I promised. It's all nice and dry now. So this is what it looks like when it's nice and dry. And um, here are all some of the other ones that we have made so far over the last few weeks. Just play around with it, honestly. Um, but as soon as you find the technique that works for you the most, keep on working with that technique. I, I do highly recommend um, giving this a try. Um, it'll be worth it, I promise. But um, I really do hope you enjoyed watching me um, break down how to do this sort of thing. Um, and I will be making another video so um look out for that one um that'll be next week so yeah thank you again for watching and goodbye everybody